Hi everyone, this is Derek. I'm back with another video just to teach you how to do text analysis using Rapid Miner. Okay, so first of all, um, you need to download the extensions from Rapid Miner, and uh, these extensions include uh, text mining and web mining extensions, which you will have to put in. My next slide is going to show you how you can do this. Hi, so this is where I'm going to teach you how to bring in some extensions, especially if you're going to do text analysis. Uh, so when you open up your um, Rapid Miner, this is what you're going to get uh, in terms of your screen. And uh, you can close this. Just go to Extensions and go to Marketplace. Most of these updates and extensions are quite available, so it's going to connect. Uh, always go to the top downloads because when you go to the top downloads, you will get to see what are the main uh, things uh, that people want to download. Uh, usually, these downloads are usually the text uh, analytics. So you can see here that they have a lot of text analytics. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, download uh, the more important ones like um, the NLP. Uh, select this for installation. Uh, the web mining and select that for installation. And I'm going to uh, download the uh, uh, text analytics by Alien. Now, this is a really, really good one. And finally, I'm just going to download the uh, uh, Meaning Cloud for text analytics. So it, it's basically a lot of all these packages that you can just download. Once you press download, you get to see. Uh, all these uh, accept the terms, install the packages, and so on and so forth, and uh, you will get uh, the text analysis and the operators for the text analysis um, right here at this particular juncture. It takes a while, um, and uh, update was successfully downloaded, and you get to see that. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you. Now imagine you've got uh, multiple documents and you want to see how these uh, words, uh, this is just a simple text analysis, uh, uh, appear in these multiple documents and you want to see how many times these words occur. Uh, you can do this using the text analysis in uh, Rapid Miner. First, of course, you've got to read the documents in, and then you've got to rename those operators so that you understand or you know where those documents come from. Okay, so um, what you need to do is uh, when you're doing text analysis, once you've read in all your documents, now if let's say you're reading from multiple documents, make sure you give the proper name to these multiple documents and then you have to process those documents. Uh, transpose is something that uh, it is uh, optional if you want to look at your uh, results better. Uh, and also, if you want, you can write to a CSV file. But what's more important is I want to show you the to uh, process document uh, token here. Now, this process document token is what we call a next level uh, token uh, operator. Uh, and uh, inside, in text analysis, what you got to do is uh, you've got to break the words down, uh, the sentences down into chunks of words. And that's where we use the tokenized operator right here. Right, the tokenized operator right here. And this tokenized operators is important because then you have to also think about uh, uh, filter stop words. If let's say you're using the English language and you want to look at filter stop words like uh, removing conjunctions like and, or, and etc. And uh, you want to transform cases as well. Transforming cases is just basically making sure that upper cases and lower cases have no, it's, it's not viewed as different words. So you can transform all the upper cases into lower cases and then they'll be viewed as the same word and it'll be tokenized the same way or be, becomes the same tokens. Now, I like uh, using this uh, stem porter. Now, this stem porter is just basically stemming the words. Uh, so if let's say you have a word called conversing and conversation, if you stem these two words, it basically means converse. And uh, stemming would bring, um, a, 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 we don't call it abbreviation, what do we call it? Uh, we call it um, uh, 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 words with, 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 with uh, multiple uh, conjunctions or attributes. And you can bring these words together 
so that uh, they have the same meaning and they'll be tokenized into the same words. So because you only want the root words, so stemming is actually a very good way of doing it. Okay, and then in terms of the results, you get to see the weight of the words, uh, which I'll show you in the demo. And the most important thing is the number of occurrences of these words. Right. So I'm going to show you in a demo how you can do this uh, fairly quickly and fairly easy. Okay, so this is a simple demo on how to do uh, text analysis from multiple documents. First off, you got to make sure that you uh, import the data inside. Uh, if you haven't, I'm just going to show you how to import my data. Now, uh, I have a data set uh, in CSV or text format, but I, I think it's best you make sure that you um, put your data set in text format because when you put it in text format, uh, it's easier for you to read uh, those data sets. So I'm basically uh, reading uh, documents inside. You can either read the documents inside or you can actually uh, f uh, find those documents. Uh, so reading the document uh, will be just basically importing it inside. As you can see, you've just imported the data inside uh, and it will be transformed into a CSV file. But if let's say you don't want to do that, what you can do is you can find your read uh, uh, document and uh, put in the three read documents inside because I'm going to be reading three different documents. Okay, and uh, I'm going to change my operator. Now, the reason why I need to change my operator is uh, because I need to make sure that I know which document I am reading. So I'm going to say this is reading document 5. I'm going to be saying that this is reading document 14. And this is reading uh, document uh, 17. So now where do I find these documents? So I have to, sorry, I have to make sure I find my document. So I've got to make sure I find my document, uh, uh, all my documents. So I'm finding my first document. So if you have a lot of documents, you will have to read maybe once or twice, but try to put them all into very, very simple documents so that you, you don't get lost. So this is document one, or, or I call it document five. This is where I'm going to be reading uh, my next document, which is document 14. here document 14 and then my document 17 which is sorry uh, document here document 17 okay so I've got all my three documents that I want to read. Now the next thing is I need to process these documents. And this is the most important part of uh, any part of um, text analysis is to process documents. Make sure you put each of the document into the doc uh, ports uh, individually. And then double click on this. This is what we call a next level uh, operator. So, so when you have a next level operator means that when you open it up, there's another level that you need to uh, put it in. So the first thing I need to put in is uh, tokenize, which is to break up the uh, sentences into words. I need to make sure I filter the uh, stop words. And usually I can uh, filter the stop words using English words. Sometimes you have French and German, which is quite cool, I feel. Uh, I'm also going to um, transform my cases, which means I'm going to create, uh, um, make sure that the uh, um, the upper cases are not recognized as a different word, so everything is transformed into lower cases. Uh, I'm going to use the stem porter, which I really, really love. Uh, stem porter, as I just mentioned, is about uh, just um, taking the root words of all the other words so that they don't appear as the uh, same word. So, uh, they, they are 
don't appear as different words. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect everything, go back up one level process. So my process documents are done. Uh, I'm also going to transpose uh, my uh, documents, my um, output because uh, the only reason is because uh, if I don't, then uh, all the words are going to be on one a big row, but I, I want it to be in a column so that I can see the, the column. Uh, I might also want to write this to a CSV file, and writing this to a CSV file will require me to have a parameter of where I'm going to write this file to. So this is where I want to place it in. I'm going to call this multiple documents uh, text analysis bracket minor I'm gonna open and uh, I'm gonna press the connect button oh sorry uh, I'm gonna get the connect and make sure everything is connected right sorry so uh, I've got to make sure that everything is connected. So word will become a result and then out word of the CSV. All right, so when I press right, uh, run, and you see that I have the word processing of the words in attributes. So I have the word and the attribute name. I get to see the total amount of times that the word appears uh, in all three of the documents, if let's say I have multiple documents, but you can also do this with just one document, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, I can also see how many times it appears in how many documents. So quite a lot of number of words appear in uh, all three documents. Okay. Uh, in terms of set examples, I get to also see um, my words. Uh, I, I get to see uh, which word has uh, the strongest uh, uh, weight in terms of from zero uh, to uh, one. So as you can see in a word, uh, at, in, in, in attribute one, this would be considered uh, the document of these words becoming stronger weights. Uh, in document two, these words will become strongest weights. And in document three, you get to see these words as the strongest weights, right? But I think the occurrence is most important because the occurrence actually gives you a sense of how these words actually uh, fit in together uh, when it comes to uh, text analysis. So I'm, I'm just going to show you a quick run through on how you can... Um, put these words into a visualization using certain tools online. So I'm going to show you how to use a uh, tool online called wordclouds.com uh, right up here, which you can uh, create word clouds of, in a generated of uh, text, uh, just very simple text analysis. So uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm going to bring in my file. Uh, make sure you have ignored the stop words. That's just what I mentioned about stop words just now uh, in the early on. Uh, my Microsoft Word document. Uh, this is a, a clothing review of 100 women on a site. Uh, and I can change the shape uh, to make it look like a cloud or a comment. And uh, <clears throat> I can also... Um, change the colors uh, if I want, or change the mask if I want, so that it looks like this. Uh, so, so basically what these people say is the one that they love the most. Now, this word cloud has already tokenized everything for you very nicely, so you can actually uh, look at it. Uh, if, let's say, you want to change other stuff like... Uh, the letters or you want to change it to something more colorful so that you get more color out of it, you can uh, because then it will give you a sense of color as as well. Um, 
but uh, really it, it really depends on on what you want to look at now please make sure that this color is not uh, a sense of uh, what you call this uh, the uh, um, uh, 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 sentiment it's it's just basically just telling you what are some of the colors and the words that that you can see uh, but this is a great tool that you can use so please uh, uh, try and use this tool uh, so that you get a, a sense of what is good and what is not good uh, in terms of text analysis so thank you very much for watching this video now, before I end this video, I think it'd be good for you to uh, just look at some of the uh, operators which uh, are important as well as necessary operators that you can use when especially you're looking in text analysis. Uh, so I've already looked at some of the things like the tokenize and the stop words and filter tokens and transform cases. Uh, in some ways, you might also want to look at stemming. Uh, Ngram is actually a, a good one, which is basically a phrase or combination of words uh, that may take on meaning of a different form. So you may have to uh, put certain meaning to different words and put them together so that they actually re, uh, uh, say the same kind of meaning. Uh, if you're looking at hashtags, you might want to remove hashtags. If you're trying to look at Twitter data or even replace tokens, so that the uh, items or the words will that have the same meaning will be, become clearer. But these are things that you really, really have to spend time uh, setting up before you uh, do uh, do your text analysis. And you really, really need to be a very good linguist uh, because if not, uh, good meaning will be lost uh, even if it's there, right? So thank you very much. Uh, if please uh, watch and subscribe my other videos on um, uh, marketing analytics if you haven't. And uh, thank you so much for uh, supporting these series of videos.